Hi there, Darren here at the Seco Science Center. Today, I wanted to introduce to you the largest animal we have here on display. Can you guess what that might be? Whale, if you guessed a juvenile humpback whale, then you are correct. Tofu is a humpback whale, which is a common whale species found in the Gulf of Maine. Every summer, humpbacks will migrate up from the warmer waters near the Caribbean to us here in New England where they will engulf tons of food, such as krill, sand lance, and herring. Tofu was a regular to our area for the two and a half years she was alive. That's right, tofu is just a baby in human terms, yet she is 32 feet long. If tofu were to have grown to be a full adult, she would be closer to 50 feet and touching our indoor touch tank. Researchers based in Cape Cod named tofu due to her fluke that big back tail being mostly all creamy white, just like the food. Naming whales help scientists monitor species health and abundance, as well as their basic biology and behaviors. By studying whales' migration patterns and behaviors, researchers have a better understanding of where migration lanes are located in relation to popular shipping lanes. Some of the key anthropogenic or human-related issues that affected tofu and continue to affect other humpbacks like her include entanglement, pollution, collision of ships, climate change, reduction in prey base, and culling. This goes to show how human interaction and humpback whales can be both a negative and positive experience based on how much we understand about our world's oceans and understanding that all living things are interconnected. These gentle giants are fascinating to learn about. I hope you learned at least one new fact about whales or humpback whales in general or even tofu herself. Thank you for watching.